What is up lads, it's Chris Marder Games here. Welcome to a very, very special episode of Retro Games. Now, I do believe that over a month ago we did actually do a Retro Games video. Uh, people seem to forget that I do play retro games on the channel. I don't just play Overwatch. But anyway, the last retro games video that I did was... What, what we were playing? Um, was it Jaramite on the NES? Pretty good game, pretty good video that I did back then. However, we are not, I repeat, not going to be doing a video on a game. That's right, we are not going to be doing any of the sort. What we are going to be doing, though, is we're going to be taking a look at this. The PlayStation Classic. That's right. I can't believe I was able to get this. Now, why have I got this? Why am I doing a video on it? Now, I'll tell you why I'm doing a video on this bad boy. Now, I benefited from Amazon Prime Day, which lasted for about maybe a couple of days at the beginning of this month. And I took the initiative. I took advantage, bought this thing or bought the PlayStation Classic for £15 only. Absolute bargain. Now, if you remember Christmas time last year, this bad boy here retailed for about, what was it, 70 to £80. And what did you get for 80 to £70 or whatever it was retailing for? You got one of these. It, well, look at it. It's, it's a very, very, very small version of a Sony PlayStation. Now, what does it have on it? Well, it only has 20 games, and I'm sure you kind of like know what these games are because this thing's been out for ages and a lot of people probably have it already and a lot of people have done video reviews on it. You probably already know what these games are anyway. So there are some games on here that are definitely cult classics and these games have massive, massive followings for them. For example, we have Metal Gear Solid, big game. Resident Evil Director's Cut, we got Rayman, we have Final Fantasy 7, really big game. I can't wait for the remake coming out next year. We have Tekken 3, one of my absolute favourite games. Core Borders 2, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, and Jumping Flash. Now, right off the bat, these games are absolute classics. People know a lot about them. However, have you ever heard of things like Mr. Driller or Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo? I mean, no disrespect to the people that know these games, but, you know, what the hell is Intelligent Cube, you know? This was the big problem with this entire thing. Um, it was an absolute disappointment just for this. There are other reasons for this as well, the reason why it was a big disappointment. Now, another reason was the fact that some of the games that were put on this were PAL versions. The games that run off the PAL version are slower than the, the NTSC ones. The NTSC runs at about 60 hertz and the PAL games run on 50 hertz. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm right in saying that, uh, but yeah, that was a big problem. People were really, really pissed about it. Uh, and well, it didn't really live up to the hype. It was completely an absolute failure. However, ladies and gentlemen, there is a good ending to this story. Uh, I'm going to recite a very famous quote from the AVGN, the Angry Video Game Nerd, in one of his very famous early videos. When the developers drop the ball, the fans pick it up. Now, there are really, really clever people out there that have been able to download PlayStation 1 games onto a USB stick and, well, they're able to add new games on the system and they're able to play them. That's right. I mean, this is the reason why I bought this thing in the first place because, well, if if this wasn't the case and you were selling this to me for about 70 quid, I'd be saying, no thanks. Yeah, 15 pounds to get possibly new games on it. Uh, big win for me. Now then, this is the part of the video where I demonstrate exactly what I've been doing in preparation to actually making this video. Now, what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to be playing some of the original 20 games that were put on this. I won't try out all the games because we'd be here all day. We'd be making a like 40 minute video and this is not what I plan to do. And then the other thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be trying out some games that I've added on a USB myself and actually play those as well. Now, what I've done is I've actually got here a USB stick. I don't recommend this. Uh, it's a Toshiba uh, two gigabyte 
flash drive. I'm not going to put it straight up to the camera because it, it, might, it might go a bit dark, but I do apologize. I don't know if you can see that. It's a two gigabyte Toshiba. Now, this thing actually works, believe it or not. Now, what I've done is I've added Bleem Sync, something called Bleem Sync to this, and I've added four games. Core Borders, Future Cop LAPD, Jute Nukem Time to Kill, and Bloody Raw 2. Those are the four games that I've got on this. Now, the way that I was able to set this up to be able to play the games, I've got a video link for you to go check out. The tutorial video is on here, so this is what I use to guide myself through setting this up. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some games on this, and uh, yeah, just show you exactly what this amazing piece of kit can now do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this hooked up and let's get on with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are, as Ace and Chet once said on awesome video games, jacked in and powered up. We have the 20 games on the PlayStation Classic. These are the games that come with the system. All right, so let's just check all of these games out. So we got Resident Evil Director's Cup. That is a absolute classic game. Uh, we got Revelations Persona. Now, I do believe this game is in the same series as a game that I do have somewhere. Persona 5. That's right. I do believe Revelations Persona is part of that series. I could be wrong. All right, then we got Ridge Racer Type 4. I do have a physical copy of that. Then we got Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, absolute classic. I love Tekken 3, although the problem with this game, and I will actually play this in the video, that actually is a little bit slow compared to the physical copy that I do have. Anyway, uh, we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Uh, this is not one of the best titles on the game, on the system, to be honest with you. Uh, we got Twisted Metal. Uh, now, a lot of people love this uh, this series, Twisted Metal series. Uh, I didn't grow up with the Twisted Metal series, to be honest with you, but a lot of people d did indeed grow up with it. Uh, Wild Arms, I've heard this is a very good RPG game. Now, I do like my RPGs, I do like Chrono Trigger, and I do like Final Fantasy, uh, but Wild Arms apparently is a very good RPG. I haven't tried that out yet, but I will do in due time. Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden, yes. Although, technically, the game hasn't really dated very well, um, I'll be honest. Toshinden doesn't really play, it's not the best looking game, but as you can see, this is a 1995 release. The The game after this, Battle Arena Toshinden 2, that actually came with a demo disc when I first got my PlayStation, uh, so I that's how I kind of like know the series. Uh, Call Borders 2, uh, this is the um, second installment following um, the Call Borders game that I do actually have on uh, the USB stick, so we'll try that out. Uh, Destruction Derby, yeah, I do recognize this game, I do love it. I do prefer the second game though, the, the second game though is probably the best one, but Destruction Derby does have a bit of a place in, in my heart. Final Fantasy VII, okay, I don't even need to tell anybody about this game. Everybody knows this, everybody knows the bloody Final Fantasy VII remake coming out next year. God, even I'm hyped about that, I mean, have you seen it? It's absolutely incredible. I mean, people are just gonna play this, uh, <laughs> in celebration of, uh, uh, the new game, the new remake coming out. I, I'm actually going to be buying the Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, no questions asked. As soon as it comes out, buy it. Buying it alongside Cyberpunk 2077. As long as I get those two games next year, I'm all set. Then we got Grand Theft Auto. Um, I didn't really play this back in the day, uh, to be honest with you. I didn't really... I, I, I know that... This is actually the American version. I, I don't know the game off by heart, but I do know that you're in... You're in a city in America, but there is also a, a Grand Theft Auto game uh, where you're where the actual um, uh, location is London. Uh, so I'm not really talking. I think that's Grand Theft Auto, the second one. I think uh, Intelligent Cube. Uh, actually, a little bit of a blast from the past. RK Wheels. If you remember him, he doesn't do videos anymore, but he did actually he actually did a video of a game called Karushi when he was reviewing lots of demo discs and all the rest of it. This is actually the American name, Intelligent Cube. So, Intelligent Cube, the American, the European version of this game is called Karushi. So, yeah, go figure. Uh, Jumping Flash, um, yeah, I've actually played this already. As you can see, there's a save state right at the bottom there. So, Jumping Flash, it's it's a great game actually. I do I did actually enjoy it in the in the, in the time I've played it. Metal Gear Solid, um, yes, 
this is a absolute cult classic. This is a lot of people have a real cult following for this game. Now, here's the thing. I didn't actually grow up with it. No. Uh, I was too busy playing my Tekken games and my Tobol games and my fighting games. I'm a, I was a big fighting game fan back in the day and I didn't really play it that much. I mean, you know, each to their own. If you grew up with this game and you were a big fan and you absolutely love it, then more power to you. But me growing up, I didn't really play the game too much. Okay, what the hell is this? Mr. Driller. Nobody, I don't know anything about Mr. Driller at all. Um, no disrespect to the people that do know something about Mr. Driller and are big fans, but I just don't know anything about Mr. Driller. I don't know why it's on here. Uh, then you've got Oddworld Apes Odyssey. Uh, good cult following on that as well. Uh, and Rayman uh, is the final one. So all 20 games, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a bunch of them. Let's, let's just start with the one that I like the most. Uh, let's go with Tekken 3. All right, let's do it. Wow, nostalgia rush. Oh my god. Okay, we're not going to play the entire thing. All right, let's just... Uh, oh my god, nostalgia. This this right here is nostalgic. All right, we'll just we'll just play one. We're not going to we're not going to play it too much. Uh, we'll just pick Law because you know I, I love Law. He's just my my go-to character in this in all Tekken games. To be fair. Oh yeah. This brings back so many memories. Oh god, it would be embarrassing if I died in stage one, wouldn't it? Actually, mind you, I haven't really changed the difficulty, so... Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose, aren't I? Oh yeah! Oh, the nostalgia! Alright, round two, Horong. Let's do it, boy. Oh dear. Oh, look at that flip! I know all the flips. Can I do the combo too? Okay, I, I guess I haven't. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the 10 hit combo for Law. Oh, it, it's it's just these things that just never go away from you. You know, I still got it. I still got it after all these years. Now I should I should just stop playing Overwatch and just play Tekken games. Oh, here we go. Let's just let's do the combo. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, I've still got it. Oh yeah, I love Law's combos. All right, here we go. Uh, let's try. Let's try a different combo. Let's try. Do, let's try doing a different combo. All right. Let's... Oh. oh yeah! I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's that's Tekken three. Yeah, it's gonna be as basic as that. I'm not gonna be playing anymore. So let's move on to another game. Right, let's see what other games we can play. Let's try Destruction Derby. I love this game. Destruction Derby has always been a... I've always had a big following of the Destruction Derby series. Oh yeah, look at this. This is so good. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Destruction Derby. Oh yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. Although technically the whole idea of Destruction Derby is to... You know, just to wreck the other cars. But, you know, I just... I just like to finish the race in, in one piece because, you know, this, this is how I do things. Although, having said that, um, oh, look, you can change the camera angles. Look, see, you can change the camera. You can go first person view if you wanted to. And you can go straight out there as well. I remember actually renting out this game uh, on Blockbuster Video. Remember Blockbuster Video in the UK where you, could, you were able to borrow games for like a weekend? So if you finish school, uh, and you knew the, the weekend was coming up, you'd normally uh, buy a, a game, you'd rent out a game for Blockbusters, and then you just spend the entire weekend playing it. Destruction Derby was an actual go-to game for me. But me playing it right now on a PlayStation Classic, you know, it brings back so many memories. But yeah, the whole idea is just to bash the other cars. Oh god, I'm not doing a great job of it, but I'm still first nonetheless, so I'm, I guess I'm quite happy about that. Oh god, I think I've just spun him. Oh, how comes I've not got points for that? Oh look, I got I got two points. That's nice. Two points. Lap six. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I think I might be. Uh, let's bash this. Bash, let's bash this guy. Oh, bashed him. I should have got points for that. Come on, how can I not got points for that? There we go. Bash. Ah. Oh dearie me. 
But I, honestly, I, I think that Destruction Derby 2 is the better game, although it is very, very difficult to finish first in that one. Uh, whereas on this game, it's actually quite easy to finish first. All you've got to do is just finish the course and, well, you, you're there, really. Oh, got four points. Well, anyway, there you go. That's that's Destruction Derby. All right, what's... Uh, I'll, I'll try, we'll try one more game. Uh, let's try one that we haven't actually tried yet. Um... Uh, let's see, we'll go, we'll go, um... <sighs> Crikey, I don't even know which one to try out. Um, we'll go, actually, should we try Jumping Flash? We'll try Jumping Flash. Why not? Why not? Alright, lads, here we go. We got Jumping Flash. Alright, so, uh, this is another game on the PlayStation Classic. Let's start the game. Alright, I'm ready to go. Okay, World 1 of 1. Uh, now, I think the whole synopsis of this game, I think, is you've got to um, collect the jet jet rods, I think they call them. Oh, get out of the bloody way. Um, right, so you've got to go over to the jet rods and collect them. They're, they're, they're carrots, apparently. Um, you need to get three of those now. Uh, you can double jump. Uh, Alright, so we've just got to wait until we go up here. Hold on. All right, Jump! Uh, and then you can shoot by pressing the square button. Or you can jump on them, on top of them. That's entirely up to you. All right. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, this game's really good. I, I do like this, actually. Oh, I've messed up. I forgot. I've completely messed up. But yeah, um, I, I, I do like this game. I mean, a lot of people have said some good things about it. Um, yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever been able to get my hands on it and maybe start playing it. I mean, if you grew up with this game back in the day, then, you know, I... I, I'm actually quite uh, envious of you because I, I, I would have been would have been nice to grow up with this game, but uh, uh, all right. Uh, so let's see if we can collect. I don't think we're gonna have time to collect all of these jet rods, or maybe we will be able to. I don't know. Who knows? Um, uh, oh, right. So there's a there's a little platform up the top here. Let's go jump onto that. Nice. I don't know what this uh, timer means. All right. Let's go to the exit. Oh, I jumped on that. I think you can get some power-ups in this as well. So if you shoot these guys, they uh, drop some nice little um, drops for you so you can go pick up. Right. Oh, there you go. There's a bit of a jumping flash there for you. Um, yeah, jumping flash. Woohoo! All right, so let's just, let's just come out of this. Let's just come out of this. Uh, and, uh, no, we do not want to save it. So there you go, guys. I mean, th this is just an example of some of the games that you can get on the PlayStation Classic when you first boot it up and you got the original 20 here. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, I mean, these aren't the definitive games that people would have wanted to see on this system. People would have wanted to see much better looking games on here. Maybe, maybe some Crash Bandicoot, maybe Spyro the Dragon, maybe even Wipeout. I don't know why Wipeout isn't on here. Right then, so now that we've played some games on the PlayStation Classic on the original, or the original 20 games, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting this bad boy into my PlayStation Classic and let's play some games that I've added myself. Now then, there's actually a, a tactic to doing this. What you've got to do is you've got to make sure that the power supply is completely unplugged. I don't know what happens if you plug the USB into the actual thing with the power turned on. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to wait to find out because if I actually end up doing it, it might even kill my PlayStation Classic. So I don't really want to wait to find out. So this is the way to do it. You take your USB stick. Again, this is a two gigabyte of Shiba. I don't recommend it. And this is all you do. You just place it in like that. And away you go. you got new games on your system. And uh, yeah, it's time to check out some of the uh, games that I downloaded off well, download it to the USB stick, and uh, yeah, let's go and check out some games. Right, guys, here we are. We have booted in the Toshiba memory stick. Uh, I've turned the PlayStation on, and you can now see four different games. Uh, now, like I said previously, I do plan on adding new games when I get a new... Uh, I don't know if I've said it already, but I do plan on buying a USB stick to add more games. But yeah, I, I'm just restricted to four at the moment. But yeah, I've, I've just been adding different games to this USB stick just to try them all out. As you can see, I've got uh, Cool Borders, the original Cool Borders, uh, Future Cop LAPD, Bloody Raw, and Duke Nukem Time to Kill. I've also added some other games as well, like I, I, I added 
wrestling on there. I added, I think it was WWS Smackdown, I think, and also a game called Legends of Mana, which is actually a very good game. I've tried Legend of Mana uh, playing this, and it actually, it's actually very good. But um, yes, I've just, I'm just going to pick one at random. Let's, add, let's try Bloody Raw 2. Bloody Raw 2 is a good fighting game. I do like this game. Of all the fighting games that I've actually tried out, it is actually very fun to play. But uh, let's try it out. Alright, so as you can see, using a 2 gigabyte Toshiba outdated 2.0 USB stick, you can see that it's working like an absolute charm. The cutscenes are looking pretty good. Uh, the only problem I have with this is it doesn't run at 60 frames per second. I'm willing to bet that this game actually runs very, very smoothly. Like I said, 60 frames per second. This version, however, does not. And you'll see as to why that is in a moment. All right, so here we go, Bloody Raw 2. Uh, let's uh, let's play with let's play with uh, this guy Bakurio. Very, very good character on this game. All right, let's do it. Right, so as you can see there, um, the frame rate for this game has kind of like gone down. So you can see there that uh, it, it's running at 30 frames per second. It looks like, but I I know for a fact, just from looking at uh, other YouTube videos of this game, that it it does actually run up 60 frames per second so yeah bloody raw is a pretty good game actually all you because yeah, you can turn into beasts here you can turn into this big massive mole with claws and i'll show you a little bit of a move that i've been working on uh let's try this there you go there's a nice little uppercut there oh yeah look at that check that out boy yeah i love bloody raw how did i not how comes I never grew up with this game? I wanted to grow up with this game when I was a kid. Oh, I was trying to do a little bit of a combo there. I was trying to teabag. I wasn't trying to do a teabag. All right, let's try that again. Oh yeah. Ah, damn it. Let's try doing. Let's try doing a grapple. Come on, grapple it. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Oh, oh, never mind. But there you go. You get the idea. Uh, Bloody Raw is an excellent game. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you haven't tried it out already, really, really good fun. Like it. All right, let's try out one more game. I'm not going to try all of them out, but I'll just try one more game. Let's try Duke Nukem Time to Kill. This is a... This is... I think this game is pretty much a Tomb Raider type game, but with Duke Nukem. That's all you need to know. And there you go. As you can see, Duke Nukem Time to Kill is working swimmingly well. Uh, although technically... I think the frame rate might be a bit low here. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't actually own the game myself, but uh, let's go get some. All right, here you go. Here's here's Duke Nukem Time to Kill. Um, as you can see, it's, it's running pretty well, especially on a Toshiba two gigabytes worth of memory. Um, I'm not very good at this game, but uh, I've actually been trying. I've actually been playing this game off camera, um, and it's, it's actually a great fun game to play. Um, I highly recommend this. Oh god, um, there's a pig cop over there. Try and shoot him. There you go. Nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. Um, there's actually um, some guys in here, I think, I do believe. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a pig cop over here. Right in the air. Look at that. Yeah. Goodbye, Sunny Jim. Yeah, I love this game. I don't know if, I don't know if uh, something like Barry Big Plums is watching this, but... Uh, I'm sure that he kind of remembers this game. Sure, surely you know Duke Nukem. I mean, if you don't know if you don't know anything about Duke Nukem, then you haven't lived the world of Duke Nukem, especially uh, Duke Nukem on the DOS. Uh, it was an absolute revelation for me. I absolutely loved Duke Nukem on DOS. I would, I would literally want to go back and actually play Duke Nukem on DOS. Maybe in the future, uh, we might actually do a little bit of a gameplay of uh, Duke Nukem on DOS. But I don't know if you've noticed this. I think there's actually a secret here. Hold on. All right, move out of the way, lady. So there you go. There's a secret area to this game. You can pick up some pipe bombs here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to play. The, I'm not going to play the game fully. I'm just going to give you an idea of how this game plays. But uh, yeah, this is this is a game that I've added on the PlayStation Classic uh, on a, like I said, a two gigabytes Toshiba USB drive using Bleem Sync, and well. It, I mean, look at it. It works really, really well. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can get uh, other USB sticks that that run a lot easier. I think this is a 2.0 version. Um, the 3.0 version um, 
memory sticks. I think they kind of like run better. Um, and when you're actually uploading games to the um, actual thing itself, I think it's a lot easier to... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a lot quicker because it's a 3.0, not a 2.0. But yeah, there you go. Uh, let's just uh, finish this little bit here. Let's just uh, put the key card into the door so we can go through it. So yeah, I think this game, Time to Kill, it's it's not like Duke Nukem 3D. It's, it's uh, you know, Duke Nukem 3D where you're just blowing aliens up and, you know, causing havoc and all the rest of it. Uh, but no, this is actually a, a Tomb Raider-esque game. It's very much similar to that kind of ethic. Uh, look at this as well. You can actually... Uh... That'll bring on a visit to the dentist. You can actually go here and actually pick up uh, candy and drinks to... Uh improve your health. Anyway, guys, I've been going on for way too long. Uh, <laughs> so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just an, an idea of what you can actually do on the on the PlayStation Classic. Uh, new. No, thank you very much. So there you go, guys. Uh, there's a quick look at some of the games that are originally on the PlayStation Classic, and we've also taken a look at the games that I've added on a USB stick. So there you go, lads. All right then, chaps, so that is pretty much it. That's just uh, me taking a quick look, a uh, very, very, very thorough look, actually, at the uh, PlayStation Classic. I do actually plan on getting myself a much better uh, looking USB stick than this. Uh, it's it's two gigabytes. I have been looking online. I've, I've picked out a few USB sticks that I want to use. I've heard that a lot of SanDisk ones are pretty good. So, I mean, if you want to go ahead and recommend me some good USB sticks in the description down below that would really really help me because it would give me an idea of what to do and what to use so it would be really really helpful for me if if you could go ahead and do that so yes I really hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's been really really long I know it's been really long-winded I know but uh, I I've always wanted to do a video on the PlayStation Classic and uh, you know ever since the damn thing came out last last year so I've been holding back and holding back until this thing has gotten cheap and I've gone for the pounds and I've got what I've wanted uh, for ages so yes there you go guys that is a video on the PlayStation Classic I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment subscribe follow me on Twitter at Chris Mon9 check me out on my Google Facebook Pinterest Twitch and of course my eBay store make sure you click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos I intend to do in the future have a great day have a great life be nice to your fellow gamers because we are all human beings I've been Chris Potter Games. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace.